is a way of teaching kids how to understand their emotions, and it has sparked strong feelings among adults in Nebraska. NTV's Gary Robinson Jr. talked to a local school district about what social emotional learning looks like in school. I use self-control. I treat others with fairness. I achieve success to the best of my ability. These are a few examples of what social emotional learning is. I spoke with Matt Fisher, who's the interim superintendent of Grand Island Public Schools. He told me more about this new way of teaching. Teaching students how to be respectful of other people, helping them to build good relationships with family and friends, and helping them learn how to make good decisions. Social emotional learning has been around for decades, but local districts like Grand Island want to put an emphasis on it for the betterment of students by incorporating positive messages into students' day-to-day -day activities at school. I think it's it's infused really in everything that we do. Um, you know, I, we're in a third grade classroom here. We looked at the classroom rules. There's a lot of social emotional learning that uh, is listed right there in, in terms of talking about how are we going to, to treat each other. At an education committee meeting in July, State Senator Dave Merman and others said that they believe social emotional learning is a rebranding of critical race theory, which is a theory in which the world is being viewed as inherently racist. Well, there, are, there are still elements of critical race theory and uh, comprehensive sex education and social and emotional learning. However, Fisher says that's just not true. I really don't know where that connection was, was made, but somewhere, um, you know, somebody got the notion that, you know, when we're, we're teaching social emotional skills that, that it tied to, to critical race theory. Certainly nothing that we're doing would, would tie those things together. According to Fisher, he believes that social emotional learning will stay with students throughout their life to become better people. We start with our very youngest students and continues through adulthood. Um, certainly I think all of us are still in that social emotional learning process. You know, we, we all, you know, need to, to build better relationships. As they prepare for the next year of school, they are looking beyond that for the next generation of students, making sure they have what they need to make their world an emotionally healthier place for everyone. Reporting for NTV News, I'm Gary Robinson, Jr. A survey done by the Collaborative for Academic, Social, and Emotional Learning states that in a survey, 90% of school principals reported their schools used an SEL approach in the 2021-2022 school year.